What's up, everybody? I'm back. Let's talk about today's General Hospital episode. Um, before I do that, um, I got a little news for you guys. Um, it's about the, the teen scene on General Hospital. Um, apparently, this is just a rumor, but apparently, that story, like, y'all know the teen scene on GH, but the, the people we ain't seen in a while, like, um, don't really, can't really say I care to see them that much, but, you know, I know Molly, TJ, Rafe, Taylor, and all them. Apparently, their storyline has been put on hold. Um, I got, I found that out on, um, I actually posted it myself on, um, Soap Central. On Soap Central's web, um, message board, I was the one, I was the one, if any of you guys visit that message board, I was the one that posted that whole rumor about the teen scene thing last week. I was the one that posted that. That one that said that they that their storylines put on hold. That was me. But anyway, um, but yeah, I, from what I understand, it's been put on hold. Um, and apparently, I don't know if it's on hold indefinitely. Um, and I'm gonna tell you all somehow I feel about that. I'm kind of in a way a little bothered by it because we had to sit through the damn storyline for like half a year since February. We had to sit through the damn storyline, and we haven't got anything from it. My understanding is they're probably going from what I understand, they're, 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 those characters are in the spoilers for this week, but I don't know if their storyline has been on has been put on hold. And I, and I will say this, I don't know if it's been put on hold like indefinitely or what, but there's a lot of other storylines that are bigger than that that are going on right now. There's a lot of them that's going on right now because and well, a lot of them are ending too, but which I will be talking about today. But um let me know how y'all guys feel about the teen scene, the teen storyline going, basically being put on hold allegedly. But anyway, um, let's talk about let me talk about this damn episode. Um, what do I even fucking begin with this episode? Let me start off with um, let me start off with the main event. Connie sitting there in the pool of blood. Um, apparently, at first of today's episode, Olivia has a damn vision, has a damn vision. Let me tell y'all something. I'm over that foolishness. I'm over Olivia. I'm over her and her visions. I'm just over that foolishness. I ain't got time for Olivia and her damn her damn visions. I'm just I'm done with it. Um, I know they're gonna keep Olivia keeping Olivia around. I mean, I don't really care, mind her being around, but they gotta kill it with the damn visions. Visions just kill it with all the Olivia visions and whatnot. But um, they just seems to need to kill it with that. Um, but anyway, she sees basically a pool of blood, and she, after the um. Elevator opens. She finds Connie. But she sees Connie basically laying in the pool of blood. So, but we all know it was a stupid vision. It was one of her visions. It, um, it, I, I think a nurse or a doctor came up and said something like, um, she was basically like Olivia's basically like my cousin, my cu- my poor cousin's ba- is, needs my help or something like that. And then we cut to Sonny going to Con- going at, at Crimson at going to Connie's office, and he basically finds her basically sitting there in a pool of blood. And this is my problem with this, um. Sonny's basically sitting there trying to ask ask Connie how how this happened and what happened and how all this happened, but this is what I have to say. I mean, Sonny, why didn't well we all know Sonny ain't gonna call well, I don't kinda know why he didn't we all know Sonny ain't gonna call no police. But Sonny, why didn't you like just call the paramedics to call the uh, call nine one one immediately after you saw you found Connie Lane though? Or you could have basically like got a towel or something like that, put pressure on it to keep her from bleeding out. But Sonny didn't do any of that. Sonny basically was just sitting there Asking Connie who did it, basically constantly asking her who did it. Um, basically like, who did this to you? Who did this to you? And she couldn't answer and whatnot. And Sonny basically, t- sit, 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 basically sitting there telling her, he's gonna, he's gonna find the bastard who did this. And Connie writes in blood, AJ. The, the initials AJ. And I'm gonna tell you, they, they, they want you to think it's AJ. AJ killed um Connie because he, we all know he was there. With, well, he was there with the with his gun and whatnot. Um, and we saw all that he was there with his gun and basically threatening her, to, threatening her or whatnot. But I don't think AJ killed. I, I generally don't think AJ killed Connie. I think Ava Jerome killed Connie. That's from what I hear. I think Ava Jerome did, cause her initials are AJ. So, um, her first and last initials are AJ. So, like I said, I think Ava Jerome was the one that killed. I don't know anything, but oh, I ain't gonna lie. See, I read a rumor that says um. That AJ or Ava isn't the one that um killed killed Connie, but anyway, I believe Ava, Ava Jerome was the one that killed Connie. But anyway, um, speaking of Ava, let me talk about her. Um, speaking of Ava and AJ, they had scenes together today. Um, Michael, bas- AJ, AJ was basically came with, at the quarter main mansion, but came to the quarter main mansion. He was still a little drunk in a way, and 
he doesn't know what happened, and Michael finds him, and he basically, um, Michael, Michael's trying to get get it out of AJ, get tell, we're trying to get AJ to tell him what happened, where he was, and whatnot, and Ava comes in, and they they basically get AJ on the couch, and AJ's basically basically about to pass out, I guess about to pass out, because he's still, in, in a way, he's still drunk and whatnot, he's about to pass out, and Ava gets a call from um, Julian, um, he she gets he gets a call from Julian, who's at the hospital, talking to Alexis, Alexis is sitting there telling Julian, um, Everything about Sam being born about that night of um that night she was um the, I guess the night she got her cherry popped um and got pregnant with Sam and Julian's starting to remember it all. He's basically starting to remember that night and he basically come basically puts it two and two together and figures out that he realized that um Alexis has um that Alexis said that um that she doesn't know who Sam's father is and that they they, they basically don't know who her basically don't know who her father is. And um so so Julian puts two and two together and figures out that he's Sam's father, cause he remember he remembers sleeping with Alexis. So he basically, well, she was I guess she was Natasha back then. He remembers sleeping with her, so he comes to the conclusion that he's her, he's Sam's father. So he calls Ava up and tells tells her that he's that basically he's Danny's grandfather. That he's a match for Danny and that he's her grandfather. He's he's his grand, grandfather, and you can tell in a way he wants to get a, wants to have a relationship with Sam, but. Ava basically told told Julian, don't 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 you dare try to have a relationship with this girl because, and he claims he's not he doesn't want to have a relationship with Sam. You can like tell in his face he wants to get to know his daughter as he should. I mean, it's his daughter. He wants to get to know her. But anyway, um, then Silas and Sam come up. And Silas and Sam come up, and they basically trying to set up set up a time to do the procedure and whatnot. And apparently they're gonna do the procedure tomorrow. It's not gonna be tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be. It's not gonna be on tomorrow's episode. I think it's probably gonna be like on Wednesday or Thursday's episode. If I'm reading the spoilers correctly, it's gonna be on Wednesday's or Thursday's episode. But anyway, um, but yeah, but yeah, um, but yeah, I'm, I am. I'm glad that they um that um they that we finally we off we we finally know who Sam's father is because this damn character came on. They established that she was Alexis Alexis's daughter. That I've been trying to figure out who the hell who the hell her father is, and now we we know that Julian's Rome's her father. But um, from what I understand, he's not gonna right away tell her he, he tell her or Alexis that um that he's her father. Um, even though he knows he's gonna keep it quiet because I think it's because of his plans and what he's gonna do to Sonny, what he wants to take down Sonny. And apparently, I'm, I'm hearing after he tries to take after he compl- after he try- he takes down Sonny, we know he ain't taking down Sonny, but um, after he Finish trying to take down Sonny. From what I understand, he's gonna let it be let let it be known that he is Sam's father. But anyway, um, what else happened on today's episode? Um, Spinelli, Ellie, Dante, Lulu, and all that. Um, Spinelli decided to lie because Dante and Lulu heard them um fussing. He, he and Ellie fussing out there. He was basically saying that he was fussing about the baby that about his baby that he will one day have because one day try to have because Ellie well, didn't want to give him one. And anyway, Dante, Dante and Lulu basically tell them to calm down and basically tell them to.